Hi, I'm Dave Persley, Product Manager for Stratus High-Level Synthesis Cadence. In the past 18 months or so, we've noticed a lot of new users are implementing machine learning hardware, such as audio or video inferencing, using Stratus. As you probably know, most of these applications start their lives as a model in a machine learning framework, such as TensorFlow or CAFE. Now, not being a machine learning expert myself, I wasn't sure what it takes to get from a TensorFlow model of a machine vision application to hardware. So, we decided to bring someone in to investigate just that. What it takes to go from a TensorFlow model to System C for synthesis to high quality RTL through Stratus. This summer, we were lucky enough to find Myung Sok Shim, a PhD candidate from Texas A&M who's doing research in machine learning. He didn't have any previous experience with high-level synthesis. But instead of me telling you how his project turned out, I'll let Myung Sok tell you himself. Hi, I'm Myung Sok Shim, a PhD student in Texas A&M University. I joined Cadence for three months of summer internship to investigate and implement a convolutional neural network framework in Strata's high-level synthesis tool. By now, there are many available machine learning frameworks such as TensorFlow, Cafe, MXNet, etc. People can build their neural networks in a short time. However, because these frameworks are only focused on software side, information for hardware implementation of neural network is lacking. To solve this problem and give an answer for our customers, we build the framework for convolutional neural network in Stratus. One of the advantages of our work is that we match the process of building a neural network on Stratus to the TensorFlow experience. In TensorFlow, we just call the convolution function with the relu activation to put a convolution layer. And also, we use a maxplain function. Same functions are reused to build the second layers. This simple scheme is applied on building a fully connected layer and the alpha layer as well. When we build the CNN model in Stratus, we follow the same process. We made templates for convolution layer and maximum layer for reusability. The parameters such as number of filter, input, output, and bit width are parameterized. For this example, we fix the size of output and filter, but it will be parameterized as well in the future. Once again, similar layer-wise CNN implementation is done in Stratus. In final, we compare the crasses versus bitwidth. Our original model in TensorFlow has 98.45%. With Stratus, we have 96.98%. The accuracy decreased a little bit due to the different data type. TensorFlow uses 32-bit floating point on all data, such as weights, biases, input and output data. Interesting thing is that without using 8-bit quantized function in TensorFlow, we still have meaningful and acceptable accuracy on hardware. Then, we can simply change the parameters in the system C models to check the accuracy of similar bit width versus area and power consumption for hardware specification. In conclusion, we have shown reducing the gap between software and the hardware approach on building a convolutional neural network. So, a machine learning developers who are used to software frameworks can easily utilize Stratus to implement their networks on hardware chips. Also, people can explore the hardware size such as area, power consumption, bit width versus neural network performance so they can play with and meet their requirements. Thanks, Myung Sok. Great job. So there you have it. In less than three months, someone with TensorFlow experience learned enough about System C and Stratus HLS to successfully create multiple hardware implementations of an image recognition application starting from a TensorFlow model. For more information about this flow, check out the Stratus Rapid Adoption Kit available on support.cadence.com slash stratushls. And for more details about Myung Sok's project, check out his more detailed video, which goes into a lot more depth about each step in the process. Thanks for watching.